Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know, I know. I wanna thank everyone who has stayed patient with me. Um, people from day one who are still there, I really appreciate you, thank you so much. Um, there have been a lot of life changes. Um, not gonna talk about it on this video, but stay tuned, that is coming up soon. Um, but one thing I will say is that um, I do plan on bringing some new content and different content to this channel um, and the ways of I've moved. So I do plan on doing an apartment tour. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I think I'm almost ready for that because um, I've moved. Um, but during the pandemic, I have found some new loves um, outside of hair. And not that I haven't had love for fragrances before, but over the past, really I started having um, a love for fragrance really right before the pandemic. Um, so I'm gonna say really like the past three years, but really over like, over like the past year and a half, I just really kind of went kind of went in off the fragrances. But right now, I just want to kind of talk to you about some of the fragrances that um, I wear every day that I feel that something that is safe to wear in the office, office setting, that would not offend your coworkers. I work in the medical field. I feel um, they, I haven't had any complaints from my patients, but I'm very careful on how I spray. Um, and yeah, just something that I feel that you can either wear during uh, your time at work or um, some of these fragrances I feel you can wear all year round. So let's get started. The first one I wanna talk about is um, Miss Dior. Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This one is um, it's considered a fresh floral. Um, I would say yes to that. Um, some of the notes in these are um, Damascus rose, peony, and white musk. I can say I do see those fragrances in here. Um, when it says rose, though, normally I'm the person who, when I hear rose, I kind of like shy away from a rose scent because sometimes normally I remember certain roses when I was growing up as a kid you know some of the ladies at the church the real ugh, it just got just too much and it kind of turned me off to rose um but this one here you can smell it uh let's see I had sprayed it earlier let's see You can smell it on the opening for sure. See, it's a nice automizer. You can smell it, the rose, in the opening for sure. It's so pretty, guys. It is so pretty. Now, mind you, um, I'm not a real heavy sprayer. I will say I probably maybe spray five spray, uh, five good sprays on me because. Like I said, I don't want to offend anyone when I'm at work or my patients. And also, I'm a person who suffers from migraines. So I have to really, really be careful and thoughtful about things that I wear. So, but this is one fragrance that I haven't had any complaints about. Um, when I smell it, when I spray it on, it's so nice. The rose, you can smell it in the opening, but it does kind of die down. In the middle, the peony. Yeah, I can smell it, but I really like to dry down the most, I think, that white musk. You can really, really smell that white musk. And you can see, I've kind of put a nice little dent in this one already. But I mean, I wear this one every day. I wear this one every single day. But yeah, so this is one I want to share with you for sure, which is Miss Dior Bloomy Bouquet. So next, I want to talk about Versace Bright Crystal. I'm sorry, I lost my um, the top to it. 
This one I was kind of wearing more every day before I got the um, Miss Dior. This one is a really fresh scent. I think once again, it's considered a fresh floral. Um, let's see here. Fresh floral. Yeah, I can smell the, for, uh, the floral. Um, a little, I think it's a little bit of rose in here. Does it say rose? Yeah. There is some rose in here too. But once again, it is not something that makes me want to run from it. <laughs> um, but it is really, um, it says this fresh, spicy, woody, citrus, aquatic, fresh, and flora. I get all of that in here. Um, as, when it says spicy, there is a little spice to it. Um, but this fragrance, I say that Miss Dior, I spray maybe five good sprays of this one. I'll probably go in with three on this one for when I wear it to work. And I, trust me, when I say it lasts all day, even with those three, you know, that now they're full sprays now. <laughs> Let me be clear. There are three full sprays, but it lasts all day long, all day. From the time I leave to the time I get home in the evening, I can still smell this. And it is like one of those, like, you know, during the course of the day, you can like, hmm, dang, damn, I smell good. <laughs> it's like one of those, you know, yeah. But um, once again, this is the Versace Bright Crystal. One of my favorites. The last one that I want to talk about today is... Yes, we all know about this one. And it was a blind buy for me. And I have never in my life done this before for a fragrance at this price. But I did. Which was the Baccarat Rouge 540. I kept hearing about it and hearing about it and hearing about it and hearing about it and hearing about it some more. And I got to looking at the notes. And I mean, I thought about this for probably close to a year, honestly. And where I was living at, there was a Nordstrom, but it wasn't extremely close to me. So it wasn't like I was able to go quickly and go put my nose on it. But I, got, I kept looking at the notes. I'm like, Jasmine, okay, I like Jasmine. Saffron, I wasn't really sure what the saffron was. Cedarwood. Okay, that made sense. But when I seen the ambergris, I'm like, hmm. Anything with any kind of amber in it with my body chemistry mm, works really well. That was, I think, what did it for me, like amber, ambergris. I'm assuming it was a form of amber in the base. Okay, so that's kind of what, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and get it, right? Honestly, when I first got it and I smelled it, I'm like, man, that does smell really good. But yet it smelled a little familiar, okay? And I was racking my brain trying to figure out what it smelled like. I had never smelled the Ariana Grande cloud or whatever it's called, I had never smelled it, so I couldn't compare that, but I did know the Burberry Her. And yes, they are similar, but then they go like this. They're similar because they have the same perfumer. Okay, so that's why they have that, that same um, DNA a little bit, but it's not the same. It's not the same. So it'll smell a little bit the same, but then as it starts to dry down, they kind of like, hmm, kind of go their own little direction, right? They're both very sweet. They both are long lasting. They both have a really, really nice sillage where it has a nice trail and people are like, wow, you smell great, both of them. But what I've noticed about the Baccarat, and I remember hearing people say this, that it smells different on everyone. I agree with that to an extent. 
But when I smell people who have it, I can always pick it out. I can always pick it out. But what I've noticed with me, when I first, when I sprayed it the very, very first time, even though I really enjoyed the scent, but after about 45 minutes to an hour, I caught a whiff of it and it smelled different for some reason. It smelled, I can't even really explain it. It smelled different, but in a good way. I'm like, wow, okay. So it just kind of like flipped the script on you a little bit. I'm not sure what that is. That's genius, whatever it is. But I don't know what that is. But yeah, that was bomb. Because I'm, I'm telling you, from the time I sprayed it to almost an hour later, it took on a different, different life or something. It was really, really good though. But yeah, but this is one, I don't say I wear this one to work per se because of this price. But when I'm going out, somewhere or you know just going out to eat or going out with my family or whatever i'll put this on because you know what they're worth it <laughs> they are worth it but yeah but this is too expensive for me to be wearing every day to work now if you just got it like that hey god bless you me on the other hand this price i'm not wearing it to work every day no <laughs> but anyway those are only three of the ones that I want to talk about uh, real quick. Uh, those are some that I feel that you can wear. You can wear them every day. Um, I don't think they're offensive. I don't see, I, I see that you can wear those year round. At least I can wear them year round. But yeah, I just want to talk about that real quick as my introduction and coming back for more videos. Now, now. I have bought some other niche fragrances. I lost my mind, guys. I'm telling you, what's wrong with me? But anyway, I am gonna talk about those um, at a later date, uh, but I do plan on doing more hair videos too. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this video out. Um, as I mentioned, there's gonna be an upcoming apartment tour, and we'll talk a little bit. I might even try doing a few lives and playing some makeup, because our Lord have mercy, I went Pat McGrath crazy over the pandemic. Being at home for me and not and shopping online has just been not a good thing. But yeah, I think I have all of her mother shits except for two. But we'll talk about that later too. But you all stay blessed. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, be sure to stay safe. As I mentioned that I work in the medical field, I work in OB Gen. So we'll talk about that at another time. But you all stay blessed, stay safe. God bless you all. And I will talk to you later.